thank the Lord. Can someone tell him, thank you, Jesus? Can someone tell him, hallelujah? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. With no further delay, I want you to help me as we welcome our first lady, Pastor Michelle Sikoro. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated in the house of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, you can do better than that tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. You're in the land of the living. Amen. And I'm almost sure tonight that every one of you that is under the reach of my voice, you have something to give God praise and thanks for. You have something to be grateful about tonight. Amen. My God, he is good and his mercy is enjoyed forever and ever tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes with me for a brief second. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. Father, we thank you tonight, O oh God, that beyond a shadow of a doubt, we know that your presence is with us. We know that the presence of the Holy Ghost is here with us tonight. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that as your word go forth in power and might tonight, that it will break the stoniest of hearts tonight, mighty Father, that it will pierce and reach even down to the marrow, O oh Father, of your people bones tonight, that it will sever, mighty Father, and rightly divine, mighty God, the intent of the heart tonight in the name of Jesus. Bring clarity, O oh Father, Father, to your words to your people tonight, O oh God, for deliverance, mighty Father, come true no other, but true your words tonight, for you have sent your words to seek to heal our diseases tonight. Father, be glorified tonight, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, and everybody say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad, my God, to be in the house of the Lord. The, the Bible says that David said that he was glad. He said, I was glad when they said unto me, come, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. There are many souls that are in hell presently. My God, and they are wishing, my God, if they just could have, but just a brief second, my God, to, that they might be able to accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my God, as their God, but too late for them. But you are still in the land of the living, my God. You have that opportunity, my God. If that something is wrong tonight, you can put it and set it right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So tonight, believers, my God, there's a lot that is happening throughout the world. My God, there are cries from people coming from every end of the earth tonight concerning the level of warfare that they are being confronted by. My God, some may understand why it is happening to them, for they are in tune and they are sensitive to the operations of the spiritual world tonight. And then there are others who are not sensitive to it at all. And right now in the spiritual realm, the atmosphere is thick with activities, not only from a heavenly perspective, but from a demonic perspective. Amen. For just as God Almighty has instituted times and seasons, my God, for his visitations with mankind, you have to understand that the enemy also, he has set appointed seasons where he meet and treat with his people. Amen. You've got to understand that the spiritual world is just as real, my God. My God, it's more real, my God, than the natural world that we can behold with our physical eyes tonight. Amen. The Bible says that they are children of God and children of the devil tonight. Amen. you got to make up your mind, my God, whose child you are tonight and who you belong to tonight. Because, my God, the, the, the enemy knows who belongs to him tonight. He knows my God who my God works on behalf 
of his kingdom tonight because they carry his traits. They carry his goods tonight. Likewise, the Spirit of God or the Father tonight, Jesus said that my sheep, they know me. They hear and they obey tonight. They carry his traits tonight, my God, and they obey his words tonight. Amen. So they are children of God and children of the enemy tonight. Understand that the enemy just as God tonight, he has appointed times and seasons. Amen. So my God, around this season, my God, you would find the children of the enemy. They are invoking demonic strongholds tonight. What are demonic strongholds? Demonic strongholds are governments that are set up. My God, spiritual governments that are set up, whether it be over nations, whether it be over communities, whether it be over families, whether it be over finances tonight, whether it be over your health system tonight. Tonight, understand that they are invoking demonic strongholds, amen, and they are giving them legal access and placing them on assignment in the natural realm tonight, amen. What you can understand is that what we allow to happen in the natural realm is allowed. What we disallow, my God, it is disallowed tonight. You gotta understand the laws in the spiritual realm tonight. Even Jesus Christ, he recognized recognize, my God, the principle, my God, of the natural realm, my God, into the spiritual realm. My God, he knows, my God, before he can come, my God, and die for the sins of mankind, that he could not have come in spirit form, but he had to be manifested in flesh tonight. Amen. For the Bible says that God sent forth his son, my God, at the appointed time, my God, manifested in the flesh, so that he can die for the sins of mankind. Amen. There was no other way that he could have done it for us tonight. The Bible says that he played down my God, his very kenosis. It speaks about his majesty, his royalty tonight. Amen. And he came, my God, and made himself a little lower than the angels tonight. Are you hearing me? So my God, you better understand, my God, the, the spiritual realm and the laws that governs tonight. And my God, they are busy around this time, giving these demonic strongholds legal access, my God, to operate in the natural realm or what we know as the earthly realm tonight. Amen. So my God, their assignment tonight it is to wreak havoc upon the lives of the people upon the earth in exchange for wealth, in exchange for riches, in exchange for power tonight. Around the stand, there is a rise in sicknesses, there is a rise in diseases, unexplained feelings of illnesses in your bodies tonight, the snatching of lives, my God, whether it be true bloodshed, whether it be true accident, or kidnapping or missing persons tonight. Unexplained feelings of frustrations tonight, whether it be mentally or emotionally tonight. Oppressions of every form. You are just depressed and you don't know why you are depressed tonight. But understand, my God, what is taking place around this time and around this season, they are invoking, my God, demonic strongholds. My God, the season is ripe for it. My God, we have Halloween or All Hallows Eve. We have, my God, uh, Diwali that is coming up. We have the Orisha camp that they have their feast set aside also. We have the day, my God, of the dead. My God, the Spanish people look more look into that area where they celebrate death on that day. And you've got to understand, and the believers, they are sleeping tonight. They are not mindful as to the level of spiritual warfare that they are up against. They are experiencing unexplained, my God, sicknesses in their bodies. They are experiencing unexplained frustration and depression and every form of oppression. Their loved ones is being snatched from right under their noses. My God, and they are unaware as to the spiritual activity that is taking place in the atmosphere tonight. But understand that we are under spiritual warfare church tonight. And we must fight back tonight. Amen. Not according to the flesh tonight, but according to the spirit tonight. Look with me in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 
and verses 4 and 5. All found say amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. All found say amen. amen. Hallelujah. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty true God to the what? To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ tonight. Amen. So the Bible says here that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal tonight. What does this mean? It simply means that our weapons of warfare, it is not fleshly or it is not temporal tonight. It is eternal. The weapons of our warfare, my God, it is eternal tonight. It is mighty. It speaks about powerful enough or capable enough true God. Amen. So my God, God did not equip us, my God, with weapons that is incapable tonight to deal with the enemy's doings tonight. He did not equip us, my God, or short equip us or short change us tonight that we are not fully equipped or fully loaded, as they say, to deal with the enemy and his tactics tonight. Amen. So my God, it went on to say to the pulling down. And the pulling down there, it simply means demolition. When we look at the word demolition, it means to totally destroy tonight. Amen. To the pulling down of strongholds. And stronghold speaks about a castle that is fortified tonight to hold safety. Amen. So the Bible is saying tonight that our weapons that we the saints possess tonight, it is powerful and it is capable to destroy or totally destroy tonight every fortified fort of the enemy tonight. Are you hearing me? The Bible went on to say in verses 5, casting down imaginations. Casting down imagination speaks about arguments tonight. When we look at that word imaginations, it speaks about methods of computation tonight. It speaks about every action of mathematical calculation. It speaks about the laws of logical theory. It speaks about the laws of logical theory, of reasoning, idea and word tonight. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verses 19, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent tonight. The term logical theory don't apply to the Almighty God tonight, for it means it is a means of confinement tonight or imprisonment to him. Amen. And our God, he cannot be contained tonight. And there was nothing before him in this world. There is nothing present, my God, in this world now as we speak. Or there shall never be anything that will ever be able to contain him tonight. Amen. For he is God tonight, my God, and he makes the impossible possible tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. He is known as Shaddai tonight, meaning almighty tonight. It simply means having complete power, for he is omnipotent tonight. So it has no, no theory or logics that can box him in tonight. The laws of gravity cannot box him in tonight. Amen. What goes up must come down. That don't box him in tonight. It don't stop his word tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. He will turn a barren wasteland into a fruitful wilderness tonight. Amen. He will make that wasteland, my God, into a fruitful place tonight. Flourish, flourishing tonight, my God, with fruits and vegetables. My God, flourishing, my God, with animals, my God. My God, and multi
multiplication or prosperity of them tonight. He will cause an axe to swim in water tonight because my God, the laws of logic, and don't box him in tonight. Amen. He will cause the water to flow out of a rock tonight. My God, and provide drinking water for all to drink tonight because the laws of logic do not case him in tonight. Amen. He will feed thousands, my God, with two loves and five fishes tonight because the laws of logic, my God, it don't encase him tonight. Amen. He will cause one to find money in a fish's mouth tonight to be able to pay his bills because the laws of logic, it don't case him in tonight. Amen. He will turn the water into wine tonight because the laws of logic, it don't case him in tonight. He will command the storms to be still tonight by the power of his spoken will. Why? Because the laws of logic, it don't encase him tonight. Amen. He operates without the laws of logic tonight. into the supernatural. You gotta, my God, break the glass ceiling as they say tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. God likes to show up, but he also likes to show off himself tonight. He likes, my God, when he shows off himself tonight, that no man can take glory for what he has done tonight. Amen. When the sons of the prophet, my God, lost the axe in the water, Nobody could have gone into that water to get to retrieve that axe. But my God, as the Bible says, he caused the axe to float. Have you ever seen iron float in the natural in the natural before? No, it is impossible according to the law of logic tonight. But God said, see me here and see me show up myself. My God, I'm you. I cannot be contained tonight. You cannot encase me tonight and expect me to perform. I will step out of the box for you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the weapons, my God, of our warfare, it is not carnal, but it is mighty true God tonight. It is mighty true El Shaddai tonight. He is the omnipotent one tonight. He cannot be contained. Amen. So there is no demonic stronghold or arguments tonight that can prevail against the knowledge of our God tonight. Who can come up against his knowledge and prevail tonight? My God, his knowledge is surpassed finding out. You can read the word of God over and over and over again. And I guarantee you, every time that you will go into the word of God, you will receive fresh manna, fresh revelation, my God, fresh insight into the words of God tonight. Amen. His ways and his surpass finding out tonight. Amen. You can never find out God. Amen. When you are looking for him here, he's already over here. That's the God that we serve tonight. He's all supreme. Praise the name of the Lord. He does as he pleases him tonight. He don't please man tonight. He pleases himself. Hallelujah. So my God, so when fighting spiritual warfare tonight, Fight with this understanding tonight that he is fighting for you tonight. He's got your back tonight. And there is no stronghold in the heavens or in the earth or under the earth tonight that can prevail against El Shaddai tonight. Amen. Fight with this knowledge tonight. My God, your work is not to figure out how we're going to do it. Your work is to know that he's going to do it. Hallelujah. And this is how some of us become shipwrecked. Because our thinking is more, my God, satiated. My God, or my God, confined with the laws of logic tonight. But God likes to step out of the box. He likes to step out of the boat tonight. He performs as he pleases tonight. Amen. So my God, tonight he's El Shaddai. And that you are protected by God in war tonight. Psalms 140 and verse 7, quickly. Yes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Psalms 140 and verses 7. My God, understand the God that we serve tonight. Understand, my God, that there is nothing that is too hard for him to do tonight. Amen. You are protected by God in war tonight. Psalms 140 verse 7. And the word of God reads, O God the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast do what? Covered my, covered my head in the day of battle. David said, Lord, you are the strength of my salvation. You are the strength of my salvation. You are the source of my deliverance tonight. I don't depend on myself tonight because if I depend on myself, I will surely fail because my emotion will be my compass. It simply means the way that I feel at times. My God, if I depend on that and rely on that, my God, I will die. Praise the name of the Lord. But David is saying here, my God, that you are the source of my deliverance, God. I don't depend on myself. And because of this fact, you shall deliver me. You shall deliver me, for I have made a boast in God tonight. I have made a boast in you tonight. And because I have made a boast in you tonight, you are going to perform on my behalf. Amen. So my God, he said, because of this. You have covered my head in the day of battle. You have seeked to hedge, or oh my God, make a defense to me to protect my head. And the question is, why tonight? For the head, it is viewed as the most easily shaken tonight. For if the enemy can have access to the mind tonight, which is going for the jugular tonight, he can prevail against you. Amen. It means, my God, that the battle that was set before you, if the enemy has your mind, he has already won. My God, my God. Are you hearing me? Yeah. The Bible states that the enemy comes in to steal, kill, and destroy. And I often tell people, what do you think the enemy coming to steal? Your riches? The richest thing that you have and the most valuable, precious thing that you possess is your mind. Come on, for the Bible says, my God, as a man thinketh, so is he tonight. Amen. You are as you are as rich as the way that you think tonight. Because the way that you think will eventually manifest around you. Amen. Come on. This is why Jesus came to change the way that we think tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. From an earthly perspective to a kingdom perspective tonight. Amen. So my God, and what comes from a man's heart, it proceeds from through his mouth tonight, and is that what defiles him tonight? Your confession of faith is what will determine your victories in battle tonight. So my question to you tonight is what are you confessing tonight over your lives daily? Come on, we are in spiritual warfare every day. I mentioned to you earlier, that there are specific times and seasons, my God, that the enemy, my God, he operates and he operates rigid, my God, upon the earthly realm. My God, things are being snatched. My God, you are being attacked in your health. You are being attacked in your wealth, in your relationships. My God, what, are you sensitive to these, these level of spiritual warfare? Or do you sit down, my God, and allow the enemy to imprison you tonight? Do you sit down and imprison yourself, my God, through the confession, my God, of your words tonight? Praise the name of the Lord. This is why the Apostle Paul says boldly, our weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal tonight. It is able to cast down imaginations. It speaks about arguments tonight. It is able to deal with the warfare in your mindset first tonight, bringing every thought into captivity and to the obedience of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That is the only way 
day when our thoughts is subjected to God tonight and unto his my God disciplinary where his word is concerned can he operate on our behalf my God for example if we are not feeling well my God the enemy comes in to whisper in your ear my God that you are dying and because of what you might be experiencing in your bodies my God you might be tempted to think so you might be tempted to operate so because that is what you are experiencing but because of our weapon of our warfare it is not carnal tonight we are able to cast down every argument tonight every logic laws of terror tonight in the natural realm, in our natural experiences and speak the word of God in our life and receive healing. Amen. My God, it is called, is accounted unto us tonight to walk by faith and not to walk by sight tonight. It is not what you are seeing around you that is real. My God, and everlasting tonight. But what, my God, you cannot behold with the natural eyes. Amen. And if God says that he has sent his word to heal our diseases, my God, despite what you are experiencing in your bodies, my God, you have to take that word and believe it tonight. And I guarantee you, healing will come to your house. Amen. Amen. You better give him some praise tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my God, if I can keep my composure, my God, my balance, my footing in the war, the spiritual warfare that is, because to have a sound mind, it speaks about keeping your footing in the war. It speaks about having a proper balance, my God, whilst you, you engage in spiritual warfare, knowing that he's able to fight and deliver me from every snare of the enemy, from every snare of the fowler tonight. For the Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty tonight. It simply means that if you would hide yourself in God tonight, He's going to cover you under His wings of protection tonight. He's going to cover you, my God, yes, my God, tribulations will come your way. Tribulation was not meant to break you tonight. Tribulations, my God, was meant to elevate you tonight. It is meant to break down the dross tonight, my God, and purge it out tonight. And it's meant to elevate you, my God, in the spiritual and in the spiritual man in connectivity with God tonight. But my God, because some people don't understand the purpose of tribulation tonight, they allow it to break. Break them down on every end. Come on. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal tonight. So my God, having a sound mind tonight, it is essential for your balance and your footing tonight when you are engaged in spiritual warfare. It is not what you are experiencing in the natural realm. In your bodies tonight, my God, that is real. It is what is spoken in the word of God is more real tonight. Amen? Come on, you got to confess it tonight. Believe it. Amen? Hallelujah. Look with me in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 5 and 6. Hallelujah. All found? Say amen. We are, comfort, we are comforted by God in warfare, spiritual warfare. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 5 and 6. All found? Say amen. Hallelujah. For when we were come into Macedonia, our flesh had no rest, but we were troubled on every side. My God, without were fightings, within were fears. Nevertheless, God that comforted those that are cast down, comforted us by the coming of Titus. Praise the name of the Lord. So what was happening here? Paul was going through a time with the church, my God. If you sit and talk with any pastors, my God, if any pastor tell you that they never went through any time with a church, they're lying. It's either that or they are not pastors. They are not apostles. Something is definitely wrong. Amen. He wrote them a severe letter, and that word severe is in inverted brackets tonight. He wrote them a severe letter concerning their condition. 
and their need to repent. But Paul said to them, even though I did grieve you with my letter, I don't regret it now. For he saw that the letter pained them for a while. He said, now I'm glad, not that you were pained, but because you were pained into repentance and turned back to God. They were pained into repentance and they turned back to God. For godly grief and pain, God is permitted to direct produce a repentance that leads and contributes to salvation and deliverance from evil and it, and it never brings regret tonight so pastors tonight don't be afraid to correct the sheep when they are going wrong praise the name of the lord sometimes it might pain them but if they really love god it will pain them into repentance that is the foundation that just laid. Where they will receive deliverance, it will pin them into the foundation of repentance where they will receive deliverance. Amen. For as the Apostle Paul said, our mission is for all of us to die together and live together for all eternity. That is our mission here also. When we stand and we correct you, my God, as a child of God, my God, you will take that correction and run with it. Why? Because you want to rule and reign with him when he returns. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Once the correction is according to the principles of God, you will do this. Praise the name of the Lord. You will know who belongs to him. He says, my sheep, they know me because they hear my voice and they obey tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. They don't, they, they, they don't take my God. They don't take, uh, I should say, uh, uh, they don't uh, come they don't come up short and say, you know, he told you doing me this and she doing me that. No. They see it, my God, to the benefit of their upliftment tonight. Amen. So Paul said, we will travel on every side. He wrote this letter, his pressure in the church. We will travel on every side with outward fightings, with inward fears. Have you ever experienced such level of spiritual warfare? Come on, where you have to literally fight your enemies around you and within you have fears such as the impact, whether negative or losses it can cause. Have you ever been engaged in such a level of spiritual warfare? Whether it be in your relationships, you have some decision to make. It's fighting all around. My God, and because of the decisions you might have to make, my God, it brings about fears and anxiety because, my God, you are thinking about the losses. My God, and the impact, my God, it can have. My God, in the family unit. Like, you have never, thank God, you never experienced it. But I can stand and say, I experienced it, it's not nice. Come on, it's not nice. But God comfort those who has been cast down depressed or humil humiliated tonight. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, it states, it says, He is the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all of our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them that are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God tonight. Amen. The Bible simply says that tribulation will get patience and patience experience tonight. We can only give you or comfort you through the power and promises of God's spoken words tonight. We can only tell you, hold on to the promises of God. Because through experience tonight, my God, we can know that God came true for us. And we can encourage you to continue to hold on to God tonight. For he will be able to come, come true for you as well tonight. Amen. For he cannot tell a lie tonight. Look with me in the book of Isaiah chapter 51. He comforts us, my God, in the midst of spiritual warfare tonight. Isaiah chapter 51 tonight, and we are coming to a close. Isaiah chapter 51, verses 12, but we will read from verses 12 to 16 tonight. All found say amen. amen. Hallelujah. And remember I'm saying he comforts us, God, God himself, he comforts us tonight in the midst of spiritual warfare. I, even I, am he that, that comforted you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be of 
afraid of a man that shall die. It speaks about mortal man tonight. And of the son of man which shall be made as grass. Because the Bible teaches us that man is likened unto grass tonight. Amen. All is flesh, my God, and they will return unto the grass tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. You, and this is the funny thing. People, my God, they are more afraid of who they could see and touch and feel in the flesh. But you know what Jesus said? Don't be afraid of them that can hurt your body, you know. Be afraid of him that can destroy both your soul and body in hellfire tonight. Amen. Learn to fear God tonight. Because my God, when you begin to fear God, when you begin to reverence God tonight, it is the beginning of wisdom. What is wisdom tonight? Wisdom, my God, is information acquired, my God, and you are walking it out tonight. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Learn to fear God tonight. Amen. Amen. So my God, he says, be afraid of an um, He says, who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass, and forgettest the Lord thy maker? that had stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and, and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? The captive exile hastened that, he that he may be loose and that he should not die in the pit nor that his bread should fail. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea, whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name, Jehovah Sabaoth. And I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand, that I may do what? Plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. In other words, he said, I have put my words into your mouth tonight. My God, what are you doing tonight? My God, your responsibility is to prophesy. What are you going to prophesy? You are going to prophesy the spoken word of God against your situation tonight. You are going to prophesy it tonight and see things change around. Because what is allowed, it is allowed. What is disallowed, it is disallowed tonight. Some of us, my God, we have come on your attack. My God, that we learn to fear the mortal man more than the God that we serve. More than the God that is able to part the seas and make a way where there is no way. Come on. Amen. You have to learn how to fear and reverence God tonight. You have to know who he is. Because only they that know their God shall be strong tonight and shall do exploits. He ain't coming, my God, for nobody that always crying. Always crying, but what did devil do them? He coming for overcomers tonight. That is our test. And if you can't deal with these demonic strongholds tonight, if you don't learn the art in spiritual warfare, knowing your rights, my God, and knowing that they have no legal rights over you, they will continue, my God, to make up teeth. They will continue to plunder you tonight. Plunder means, my God, to break through and take what don't belong to them. Take, they will take your sanity. They will take your peace. They will take your marriage. They will take, my God, everything that God intended for you tonight to live an abundant life now and in the world to come. Praise the name of the Lord. God has given us power over these demonic strongholds. From the moment, my God, he says, my God, it was finished on the cross. My God, he made an open show over all of them tonight. The Bible says that he made an open show against principalities and powers. My God, there is no demonic government that has been set up in the spiritual realm or over the earth that can prevail against Jesus Christ tonight. In that name, there is power tonight. Amen. So my God, in this time, in this season, you would realize, my God, that the race, 
my Lord, to even run tonight. You will realize that you might be experiencing some, my God, re uh, retraction, as they call it. You're feeling as if something holding down your leg tonight. No, my God, that that ain't natural. 